Hey everyone, welcome back to Bleach Brave Souls. Today we're going to continue uh, my series on previewing the six star characters that we're soon going to get on Global. And for this episode, we're going to look at six star Mayuri. And you know, there's a question as to why they chose to upgrade this character instead of his original green version. And you know, I, that's a good question. I mean, I feel like the, the original Mayuri was pretty badly in need of an update, so who knows, who knows why they selected this one, but um, that's the way it is. And uh, Hueco Mundo, I guess we'll call him Hueco Mundo Mayuri, is a character that many of you are familiar with. He's in every gacha. I myself have drawn him four times pretty recently. So yeah, I'm, he's a fairly common five star, um, just from the, the people that I know. Most of them have him, or multiple copies of him, so anyway, since a lot of people probably have him, you know, he might be a choice for your first six-star ascension. Um, like I said before, you're going to want to pick a really good character, the best character you can for your first six-star ascension, because that character, once you max him out at six stars, he'll make the process of running raids and admin quests quite a bit easier. So if we look at his original statistics, um, we see that he's pretty average. Uh, he was kind of a... He was released a few months into the game, so he's not quite as weak as the original 5-star characters. But by today's standards, he's he's definitely outdated. Um, 412 attack, you know, that's... I mean, it, it's it's acceptable. Um, 276 def defense is pretty, is pretty decent. Focus and spiritual pressure are, you know, mediocre at best. So, I mean, there's nothing really... There's nothing really too unique about him. He does, however, have the ability to paralyze his opponents. There's a 2% chance of any attack paralyzing the enemy for, I don't know, the duration, but it's a really short duration. And it's a really low chance as well, so, you know, I mean, it, it is something, but it's it's not uh, it's not game-breaking. It doesn't make him OP or anything like that. Uh, his special is pretty standard special. Uh, it does have a secondary effect, which paralyzes the enemies for a longer period of time. So, he is useful for that. So, should you upgrade him to 6-star? Well, first let's take a look at the statistics. Um, 17, 715 stamina, which hasn't improved that much. And that seems to be the trend for most of the old 5-stars that you can ascend. Um, the stamina doesn't go up that, that much. Um, the attack, 458, you know, it's, it's higher, definitely. But it's not as much of an improvement as uh, some of the other characters we've looked at, like Byakuya or Red Kenpachi. It's it's a significant boost, but it's not um, it's nothing. T it doesn't blow me away. That's just my opinion on it. Uh, defense is slightly higher, uh, focus is slightly higher, and spiritual pressure is pretty decent now too. But overall, nothing too spectacular for a six star. And his improvement may not be as noticeable as the old five stars because you know he is a later released character, and the power gap between five star Mayuri and the more recent characters is not as huge. So the change isn't quite as dramatic. So let's uh, say Red Kenpachi. I mean, Red Kenpachi was one of the first five stars released. So when they boosted him up to six star, the difference was, it was a huge difference. So moving on to his other abilities that he'll get, um, his killer attribute will be Espada. So he'll be powerful against Espada characters, obviously. Uh, he'll do 40% more damage against them, which is quite a bit. Also, six star characters get um, special abilities. I, I, I don't. I, I don't know if I would call them special abilities, but they're um, but they're improvements to their uh, various uh, skills. So for Mayuri, uh, the normal attack range can be increased. A strong attack range can be increased, which is you know the, they both sound great. And um, abnormal effects time is also increased, which is I'm assuming uh, that that's his paralysis uh, chance. So I'm guessing that increasing this ability will lengthen the duration of his paralysis. Um, you know, maybe make it go from like two seconds to three or four seconds. That actually could potentially be very powerful. Um, you'll you'll want to keep that in mind as well in your decision-making process. And he has an ability called Defense Decrease, which um, I haven't been able to confirm for myself uh, what these abilities are exactly. So uh, keep that in mind, guys. Uh, defense Decrease. It sounds like it's something like a debuff, where he'll be able to maybe a chance on strike to lower the opponent's defense. So if you take that into account, um, Mayuri as a 6-star has kind of a lower attack. Uh, it's only 458, but 
if he has the defense decrease ability, you know, maybe that'll, you know, compensate for it a little bit. Um, you know, once again, this is all just theory crafting, so um, I, I'm not sure how it will actually work. These are just quick previews uh, to give you the information that I know. So to answer the question of whether or not you should ascend Mayuri as your first six-star character, yeah, he doesn't he doesn't look terrible. So um, I don't think you'll go wrong doing that. But um, if you have some of the other characters, they may be better choices. Like Red Kenpachi looks really good, and Purple Byakuya looks really good as well. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much all I know about six-star Mayuri. Uh, he seems decent. And because of his special abilities, like the defense decrease, he might be worth a look. Um, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.